So this is a robotic distal pancreatectomy on a 69 year old patient with a pancreatic body tumour and you can see the tumour there puckering the tissues around it and drawing in the posterior wall of the stomach. I'm just dissecting this off there and then we're going to scan the tumour and just look at the relationship with the vessels and there was definite splenic vein involvement posteriorly. So I'm just working medially and opening up the border, uh, lower border of the pancreas to look for the SMV, which just became visible there. And then working on the upper border, and you can start to see a dilated coronary vein there, which was draining into the splenic vein. And you can see the portal vein entering the hilum of the liver there. And again, just working on the lower border of the pancreas, trying to develop that tunnel. You can see the SMV coming into view shortly. And then I changed my view to 30 degree up so that I could just get a better view underneath the pancreatic neck just to develop that tunnel further and again just opening up the upper border just overlying the portal vein to open up that top part of the tunnel so I'm just dealing with this dilated coronary vein now and dissecting that out a bit it was right next to the splenic artery which comes into view uh, now. This lady had aberrant arterial anatomy with a common hepatic artery coming off SMA and so the splenic vein was the splenic artery was the only continuation of the celiac axis. So I'm just using the 30 millimeter stapler to divide the coronary vein. and dissecting out the splenic artery with an additional superior pancreatic branch just to the left and just going around these vessels with a vicral tie so that I can tent them up to get the stapler underneath them and I dealt with these vessels with a combination of the 30 millimeter stapler and the hemolock clip So I'm just going back to that tunnel now before I divide those vessels and you can see the splenic vein is being drawn up into that tumour and I'm just going to go around the SMV now uh, with a double rubber sloop. And really the stability of the platform and the 3D view and the stable camera is just really, really helpful when you're trying to dissect around these uh, fairly large vessels. So now we've got that control, uh, before we do anything further with the splenic vein, I'm just going to 
divide the splenic artery and after stapling I applied a hemolock clip to the proximal side and then before we go any further with the splenic pain I'm going to divide the pancreas and just place a tie around it just so I can pull the main body of the pancreas into the stapler and I use the same stapler that I would use laparoscopically which is an echelon flex uh, with an appropriate re reload depending on the thickness of the pancreas and I think in this case we used a, bl a blue reload and so we do progressive compression over a period of five minutes and then a minute after clamping the stapler closed prior to firing and we got good hemostasis here I didn't have to do anything further um, in terms of overrunning the staple line so now I'm just going to get another tie around the splenic vein where it inserts into the side wall of SMV and portal vein and I had a couple of options here I suppose but um, I opted for a 30mm stapler with a vascular cartridge I uh, felt that I had enough of a cuff uh, without narrowing the SMV portal vein significantly So once the vein was dealt with, I then moved on to the duodenum and dissected out ligament of trites. And you can see the sidewall of D3-4 is, is drawn into this lesion. So I just mobilized this so that I was able to, again, uh, staple across the sidewall of duodenum um, with the robotic stapler. And then I overran the staple line with a VLOC, a running VLOC suture. just dissecting through the back of that duodenum there just so I could again get a tie around before placing the stapler through the tunnel And once the duodenum was uh, off the lesion, um, it was just about dissecting the pancreas off the retroperitoneum. And making my way towards the splenic hilum. And this is me now past the tail of the pancreas and there's just a leash of vessels in the splenic hilum just dissecting out the largest of the arteries here and controlling that again with hemolox and then I went across the rest of the vessels with the uh, robotic uh, stapler And the spleen looked okay, a bit ischemic in the middle portion, but I didn't uh, dissect out the, or divide the short gastrics, and the, I didn't drop the splenic flexure. So the upper and lower pole were, were reasonable. And then uh, placed the specimen in a endocatch bag and a bit of tidying up and uh, the hemostasis was fine I used a couple of flow seal just one in the splenic hilum and one at the uh, cut edge of the pancreas and this is just a lymphatic near the SMA which was leaking some lymphatic fluid which I clipped and it all looked nice and dry There's the 
border of the pancreatic neck there that's been stapled across. And that was the case. Thank you for watching.